Well, I am not ashamed to say that I was in the theater by myself watching Inside Out 2 oh, and bawling. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It is now the highest grossing animated film of all time. Wild. Which is wild. It yeah. really is when you think about some of the animation that's been made. But do you think now, especially seeing the success and the lessons that kids are learning when they're watching these movies, that Joy and the gang will come back again for a third one? Look, uh, you're talking. I, all I do is... <laughs> Say ring, yes. Ring them every day yes. and be like, how's the third one coming? Yeah. I mean, they are so talented at mm -hmm. Pixar. They take um, their own emotions and other people's feelings and emotions into such deep, precious consideration yeah. that I have no doubt that whatever they decide to do will be some beautiful next exploration. But I remember, you know, it takes a long time to make an anim animated film. And when they made the first one 10 years ago, yeah. I thought there's no way we can't go back into her mind again. And then once we got back in there, uh, boy, we had had a really difficult decade. Mm -hmm. mm. And the audience really felt it. They really wanted anxiety to show up. Let Operation New Riley begin. You aren't packed yet? I'm the worst! <laughs> they yes. really wanted that. And so... Yes, I am tech avail for Inside Out 3. <laughs> and whenever they need me. Are you able to like give notes and say, hey, this is where I see this going? Because of, like you said, I mean, when you're living life and you're like, but this is what I've been feeling for the past few years. These are the yeah. emotions. This is, these are the things that I've been going through. Are you able to like? Yep, you know, Pete Docter and uh, Jonas Rivera and Kelsey Mann and everyone who made the first and second film, we talk all the time Good. about what could be our character Riley's next story. Yeah. And I, I mean, I, if it was up to me, I would make one every couple of years yeah. until she, you know, just, you know, just because you're a grown woman mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you don't have the same feelings and obstacles that you did when you were 11 or 12. So... We talk about it a lot. I'm, I think there's so many ways to approach it. I know whatever they decide to do will be so good, um, but it's been an incredibly collaborative experience working with them and such a genuine, you know, extreme creative pleasure. I feel like uh, I'm not a parent, but I have been a kid and I know that we exist to make our parents crazy. <laughs> and also to, uh, to but do, have your kids appreciated like what you've been able to give <laughs> to the culture? Seriously, especially in these type of films that I know they can enjoy. Yeah, they love yeah, these films. Good. They really do. I mean, I know a lot of people that use the language of Inside Out to talk to their kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've had so many people come up to me and talk about whether it's teachers, you know, my kids wa have watched Inside Out like five times in their in their in their school. They're yeah. like, "Mom, they're showing your movie again." <laughs> um, but teachers, educators, like people who uh, adults who kind of have a hard time trying to figure yeah. out what they're feeling. Yeah. Um, it's a tool. It should be a teaching tool in schools. I really I think, do think I these think it should actually be a is. teaching tool. If I'm going to get really meta, it's really about like parts work, like mm -hmm. integrated family systems, like figuring out all the parts of you, yep. being nice to them, yep. not trying to you know banish them. They have to exist, yep. and they're all there to help you. Well, congratulations! Thank you on being named the legend and the groundbreaker. It is true. I know you like you hear those words, and you're kind of they're like, kind of silly words. How do I even embrace them? <laughs> right? But when you back at like I don't know, your entire career but first of all like Saturday Night Live and starting off in comedy did you realize or do you realize now the barriers that you really were pushing and breaking and I don't know if you were just like I'm trying to be funny but you really yeah. did thank you for saying that I think that one of the things that you want to make sure you're not doing especially when you're doing comedy is like paying attention to what's important uh -huh. yeah. so yeah. you know you kind of don't and you don't want, certainly don't want to feel important mm -hmm. you want to feel like you're punching up um so i did feel that way in the beginning but yeah thank you for that what i'll say is that having been now uh doing these kind of things for over 20 years i have noticed a tremendous amount of change yes. especially for women in our industry and um to have been along for that ride is, mm -hmm. is really cool. I cannot have you here without asking you this question. The Oscars are still looking for a host. Oh, exciting. You and Tina's name. <laughs> 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 this 
one. When are when are the Oscars? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. These are my um, oh, you're, my agents. Your and my these are my agents. Oh, no. I have a tiny uh, a four year old agent. Oh, that's your publicist. Yeah, and my right publicist is a young boy. I love that. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, yeah, I uh, yeah. The, you know, you and Tina's names are on everybody's lips always. We uh, had such a good time hosting the Globes. You know, hosting an award show is hard. Yeah. Um, you all don't make it look like it's hard. But, you know, but also it's, uh, award shows are, they're supposed to be fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you have to throw a party, you have to host a party. Yeah. Um, and I feel proud that we kind of did that. I feel like we gave people a good yeah. hang. I would say 2025 is the year of the comedy, in my opinion. We've, we're back to precedented times. Mm -hmm. We've come out of a really long winter of a couple of years. So my hope is that whatever happens at the Oscars or any other award show, like people can kind of laugh and enjoy themselves yeah. because, you know, we're getting to do what we love. How lucky are we? 2025 has got to be the year. It's got to be the year of comedy. It's I'm really, calling it right now. It's, thank all you, all for you that. have to do to make something the year of something is yeah. to just keep saying it over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ET, That's just fact. get it, put it. Just you know it. what? In fact, if if you could do a lower third here too, and just put it under me while I talk. <laughs> 2025 and year of comedy. Exclamation point! You guys, have, I know you have the tech to do that. We can do that. Last night I was also laughing and crying watching Maya Rudolph. Oh, uh, she is crushing it. First of all, can we just talk about the voice? I was just about to the say that voice. to you. The well, voice. Thank you, Brad. Pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> the pleasure is neither of us. And cadence to <clears throat> just precision. And you know what her, both her and Dana Carvey are proving? Folks, we have other problems on our hands. I'm being serious. Come on. Is that an impression, you know, SNL shows you that an impression is only one piece of the puzzle. Yeah. You have to also be funny. Your, your game, your impression, what you're choosing to do has to be the same. It doesn't even need to sometimes make sense. Right, right. <laughs> Right. And I think Dana's proving that. And Maya is just so good and specific and so funny. It, much like Tina's pale. And I can see Russia from my house. <laughs> Something about it is just like striking a match. It's so good. It's incredible. Yeah, it, it really, really is. It really is. Really, I love that you're so proud of her. Oh, like my, we were just girl. texting this morning. Yeah. Um, I'm just bragging about my friends, I guess, is what <laughs> this interview is. But we were just texting this morning because she does that thing, like which I never... I just, mm -hmm. I just have to find one small thing. It's just, and the way she laughs, and the way she's talking about Joe, and um, you know, and and President Biden was such. When we got him on Parks and Rec, that was mm -hmm. a big day for us, a big day personally for me. You must be Leslie No. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> and I am deeply grateful for his for his service. And um, I just, I don't know. We're just, we just got it. <laughs> We gotta 2025 get, we get, so is the year so of comedy! Exclamation is point! Is the year of comedy, okay? Okay? <laughs> All right, you heard it here first, okay? No more sad times, okay? No more bad, no more drama. Okay? <laughs> Let's get into the comedy portion, all right? Enough. There we go. I love it. <laughs>